Intel's upcoming 10th core flagship Core i9-10900K based on 40 nanometers Skylake and part of Intel's Comet Lake family looks to actually match the performance of the 12 core Ryzen 9 3900X and the flagship 10900K actually shows promising performance when stand against AMD's 12 core 24 thread beast. Today we gonna dive into the latest news and leaks in regards to Intel's upcoming processor family for desktop. The 10900K is soon to replace current 9900K and the battle for the best gaming CPU continues. Let's look at what we know so far about Intel's upcoming processor family and see if they actually have what it takes to beat AMD, Sun 2 and the Ryzen 3000 series. Hey what is up guys, my name is Robin, welcome to Arbin Hardware, I'm your Swedish host and friend with bad posture and poor accent. So in a few months, sometimes in spring, Intel is finally taking up the fight with AMD over the performance for multi-core processors for games. Gamers. With the Comet Lake processor family, the number of cores goes up from 8 cores to now 10, but in terms of architecture and manufacturing process, yeah we're still stuck on Skylake and 40 nanometer, which makes Comet Lake the 4th iteration of the Skylake architecture. Now a lot of people have been asking, why hasn't Intel moved to a more advanced process, which AMD has clearly done, and the reason for this is that Intel have been having problems with yields, and they have been having having a lot of uh, faulty processors, one shrink in the die, and so for the time being 40 nanometer in Skylake has therefore been Intel's only option. Now that said, many rumors suggest Intel is deep into research and developing more advanced uh, processor techniques, which should be ready for the market in a few years time, but it seems that we gonna have to wait until at least late 2021 until a more advanced manufacturing technique could be ready, and thus it seems like it's going to take a while until Intel Intel will be a serious threat to AMD when it comes to multi-core performance. The previous leaks and reports have given us some interesting performance data suggesting that the Core i9-10900K is expected to be up to 30% faster than the predecessor, the Core i9-9900K in multi-threaded applications. And if we take a quick look at the specifications for both parts, we'll notice that the biggest difference between the upcoming 10900K and the 9900K is two more cores and a total of four additional threads. Clock speeds have also gone up a tiny bit, but the reason why we don't see bigger numbers here is mostly because of the power and the temperature limitations. And while Intel always been on the forefront when it comes to high frequencies, it seems like they now have hit the ceiling for how high you can actually push the Skylake architecture when adding more cores and threads to the recipe. And many rumors suggest upcoming Comet Lake will be a toasty process even though Intel now is soldering the IHS, which is said to help the temperatures a bit. Anyway, a Twitter user called Rogame is now unveiling performance data for Intel's upcoming 10th core flagship in the 3D Mark Firestrike test suit, and the results indicate the upcoming 10900K seems to match the performance of AMD's 12 core Ryzen 9 3900X. Now, the test system configuration is using the Core i9 10900 100K with the motherboard with the Z490 chipset and the Nvidia GeForce RTX 2080 Ti graphics card. Primary memory consists of two 8GB DDR4 sticks and each with a memory speed of 3200MHz. And the result for the physical calculations land at 28,940 points, which can be compared to 29,955 points for the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X. And so, as you can see here, they are pretty much neck and neck here and this is pretty cool because remember the Core i9 actually only got 10 cores while the 3900X got 12 cores in total and if we take a look at these specifications here we see that the Core i9-10900K got 10 cores and a total of 20 threads. Now the core clock frequency starts at 3.7 GHz and it can reach a maximum turbo frequency of 5.1 but Intel's got something called Turbo Boost Max and this technology allows them to reach even 5.2 at gigahertz, but this is only on one single core, and the TDP value of this processor now takes the step up to 125 watt from the predecessor's 95 watts. But remember, these numbers don't really say much for us end users, and for my understanding, AMD and Intel also measures these values a bit different as well. So you gotta have to take these numbers with a grain of salt. But as we can see, upcoming Core i9-10900K is going to be pretty toasty. And we 
have seen earlier engineering samples of Tan Gen, a Core i9 being benchmarked, running quite hot, so, so we have pretty strong belief that this family will be quite difficult to keep cool when you start revving up the clock frequencies. Now the leaked performance data shows that the higher clock frequencies Intel is reaching with Comet Lake is mainly the reason why they are able to close the gap to AMD with Ryzen 3000 series despite having fewer cores and threads. And the difference here between the Core i9 10900K and the Ryzen 9 3900X is about 5% to the Ryzen, which indicates that Intel's flagship will actually perform better in single threaded applications. The pricing details and launch date for Intel's Tantian are still unknown, but previous reports indicate a launch in the first half of 2020. Reported pricing information for the Core i7 10700K for example, seems to match AMD's Ryzen 7 3800X, and so if this is true, that would suggest a similar relationship between the Core i9 10900K and the Ryzen 9 3900X. As I said, we still don't know the pricing, and this is going to be interesting, and even though AMD still seem to be the best pick for heavy multi-threaded workload, it seems like Intel is going to be able to compete with AMD and challenge AMD in clock frequencies, and this is quite frankly where games tend to benefit the most from, at least right now. But yeah, definitely interesting times ahead. I would love to hear your take on this. Will Intel be able to challenge AMD's third gen Ryzen or will upcoming Comet Lake flop and burn to the ground? I wanna know what you think. I'm obviously going to follow this situation and share more details with you guys as more leaks comes out. In the meantime, watch either of these two videos. I will see you over there. I wanna thank you so much for sticking around this long and I wanna wish you a fantastic day.